Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well, keeping safe and healthy. So as you can tell from the title, today's video is all about Pepper. It is a company for people who want undergarment for smaller sizes like myself. So I have been shopping at Victoria's Secret, La Vie en Rose, La Zenza when I started wearing brassieres and I've worn them all the way up to now, which is almost 30. So since then, I've always had issues with bras because I am small chested and I always found that I could never fill them. I wore unlined, lined, padded, push up. I would be so self-conscious about that because there's always this gap and if you wear a low cut shirt, you can kind of see the in-between. Didn't matter what I was wearing. You don't have to be wearing a brassiere. This is just a personal choice. But for me, I don't feel comfortable going out in public not wearing one unless it's a certain type that already has built-in padding. I'm making this video because I want to help out young ladies or ladies in general who just struggle with the same issues I had, which is not fine finding a brassiere that fit. I didn't want to shop in preteen areas because for me that just made me feel uncomfortable. I don't know, I know pink and stuff had it but I never liked how they looked really. I think I have one bra from pink. I felt they're a bit kiddish especially moving on to my adulthood so I don't really shop there. I did at the time but again I didn't like the fit of them. For me I would still have a bit of that gap. It just wasn't working for me. Anyways, for a while now, at least several months, I've been eyeing on trying out this brand because I've heard so many good reviews about it, or at least I have read about them. I wanted to try it out for myself. This is not sponsored in any way. I paid for this all myself. This is inside the box here. Each bra actually came wrapped in plastic. I just took the plastic off, but I brought a black one and a nude one. So let's start with the nude one. It kind of has a bit of meshing on the side here. Yes, it still has the tag on it because I have not worn it out but I have tried it on and oh my god it made such a difference right away I knew that this was going to be the one for me because there was no gap this part here on the cup there would actually be a gap between myself and the bra so it'd kind of be like this it would never sit flat it would if I really yanked in the straps but even if I did that it would still pucker out it just wasn't flattering and sure I could wear tighter fitting clothing but as you move and stuff you can tell that there's some sort of gap in between and it just doesn't look right it does have a bit of a push-up there is a bit of padding it's super soft it's really great it's super comfortable it actually does give you the cleavage that you need if you're looking for that kind of cleavage even when i wore pressure bras there was barely any cleavage okay because i couldn't even fill the bra this one was a success i think that i could go probably next time down in the band size i prefer mine super tight because i know over time elasticity kind of wears out so i think for my next purchase i would size down on the band because for me it's a little bit big i totally love this nude one i would purchase it in all the different colors. I mean, I don't really wear different color bras because I just don't see the point. I'm always wearing either white, beige, or black. Sometimes I'll wear color, but honestly, if you're gonna be dressing a certain way, nude and black is probably your best options because I think that the vibrant colors are awesome and everything, but I used to purchase bras that are all the colors of the rainbows and love them, wore them, but as I grew older, my wardrobe has definitely changed and I just don't gravitate towards those anymore. So for me, that's kind of a waste of money. I just stick to the neutrals now. It's more boring, but it is more functional for me. Moving on to the next one. So this is a black strapless bra. It is the same size as the one with the strap there, the, the push-up bra. This does not have any push-up. It's just lightly lined. Personally, I'm, I like it with a bit more padding just because when it's cold out, if you catch my drift, it's just not going to be covering the area that I need to cover. So I'd probably not wear this for a formal event and stuff which is kind of unfortunate another thing that i noticed i did measure myself online and it was telling me of a certain sizing which i did get but i do think that when you buy a strapless you would need to go a size down at least for myself because i'm finding that there's just a bit more give than i would like i want my strapless to be more snug because i find that my body temperature fluctuates a lot especially in the winter like i get super cold which means that things are shrinking things become looser on me i'm gonna guess that this is probably gonna slide down i'm gonna wear it because i want to see how this works if i were to purchase another one of these i'm unsure the cup size is correct but i think my band size could be a size smaller for both but really for these strapless ones. It does come with straps so if you wanted to not make this a non-strapless one you could add straps and then it becomes multi-purpose which is great which I love the versatility of this. It also has the mesh on the sides as well. What I'd like to see in the future though is no mesh. This kind of band I feel like if you want your clothes to be really seamless you need that kind of material that's more 
flat. I find if you're wearing a fitted dress or some sort of fancy outfit, this would not cut it for me because I feel that you're gonna see these. That is my little review of Pepper. If you are interested in trying it, check out their website if you're small dressed like me. I would recommend them. Just make sure to really measure yourself out properly, read a ton of reviews to see what other people are saying. If you're in between sizes, that's totally your call if you wanna size up or size down. I would normally size down just because like I said earlier with the elastic over time it's going to stretch out and most likely become loose so you would want to size down. It becomes very annoying when your bras have stretched out and you can fit like more than one hand at the back maybe even like two hands. There's so much room. We don't want that. We want it snugged so it stays up. Other than that I am super pleased with it especially the first one I showed you. It actually gives me proper shape. It doesn't look like I'm child trying to fit in play play dress up i don't know if that makes sense girls ladies whoever is wearing these bras you don't have to fit in to the stereotypical big chested look side story so growing up i always felt like i was developing at a slower rate in this area although i had my period very early on the whole chest was always a thing for me and it always has been and I think that it, I struggle with it because clothing doesn't necessarily always fit. You may think it does but I've learned to find clothing that would fit my chest but certain clothes that I wish I could wear I cannot because I just can't fill them. Unfortunately that is the case. Growing up I always felt different from everyone else, from my friends who were developing and I always just felt like maybe I'm a late bloomer. Maybe I am and I'm still considering myself a late bloomer because Listen, I got nothing. Little something, but it's not much. Personally, I just did not like having a very small chest because I couldn't fit into clothing. I always felt like I felt like a child, especially getting older to a teenager, like senior year, going off to university, and then in my adulthood. So just going into lingerie stores and getting measured. I literally got measured at Victoria's Secret and at Lizenza, and they would tell me the size. They're like, oh, you're definitely this size. And I would try it on and I'd be like, okay, I believe them. But then looking at myself in the mirror, looking at myself at home, nothing was really fitting fitting me properly how I thought it should be fitting, but how they're saying it and how it's looking on my body was not the same thing, even though they were telling me, but they're salespeople, so they're obviously gonna just sell it to me. The only thing that would probably fit me are training bras, <laughs> which I'm not gonna wear when I'm in my 20s, okay? The to me, that doesn't make sense. They have Winnie the Poohs and I don't even know what that I've seen. <laughs> okay, and that's just too childlike for me. If you're into that, cool, but for me, it's not gonna work. I probably should have looked in other stores. I do know that Asian stores do carry smaller sizes, so maybe that would have worked better for me. Although I'm just thinking about it now. I don't know why I never looked into it before. I somehow wanted there to be a way without having cosmetic surgery and all that to fill in that area just so I can wear certain clothes. But really taking a deep dive and really thinking about it, it shouldn't be the person myself trying to alter my body to fit into these undergarments just so that it, it, it fits in that sense. Now I think that it's the other way around. It really should be the garments changing to fit people because people come in in many different shapes and sizes and we're not just this one size or these several one sizes. Where's the in-between for that? Where are the people who don't fit into those categories? Like myself, I never fit into those stores at all they never worked for me but i'm glad that pepper has come out with a line of brigiers that fit these smaller chested women like myself so i'm really grateful for that so that's the end of my video i hope that you enjoyed it and i want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video if you have any questions or just want to chat about girly stuff you can leave a comment in the comment section you can send a private message to me yeah it can be your big sister your friend whatever it may be if you're feeling a certain way about your chest honestly it's not a big deal let's figure out what can work for you how to help you feel more confident in your own skin thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're aware of when i upload my next video thanks guys bye <laughs>